So how can you get paid to travel the world and have fun? I'm gonna share with you a formula that uh, I've learned over time. I'm actually here in London, traveling from California. I'm, uh, I was just in France at the Cannes Film Festival and headed to Sweden, Norway. And I'm gonna share with you how I'm able to do that, still make, uh, you know, still have an income. And I can remember not too long ago when I didn't understand this and I was stuck, tied to one spot. I'd get burnt out. I wanted to travel, I wanted to have more fun, but I knew that I would take a pay cut if I did. And so what I'm about to share with you, pay attention because it'll give you more freedom in life. And at the end of the day, life's not just, it's, you know, it's not about money, it's not about one thing, but it is about freedom. Because you could have all the money in the world, you could have uh, all these materialistic things, but if you have no freedom, you'll never really enjoy life. And I'm sure you'd agree with that. So don't mind the mess here in the background. I was reading breakfast. So what is this formula? And how can you apply it to your life? I'll give you a few points here. But let me explain how I came to understand this with a specific story of my life uh, that you can apply directly to your life today. You might know I'm a college dropout. I went to NC State for a little while and I, I needed to make money. So I was there trying to get a degree. I stayed for about one semester only. <laughs> I'd started a business. But when I was there, I worked at this one little coffee place or I forget what it was, just some place, kind of a dead end job. And I remember the first paycheck after two weeks working there part time after they took taxes and all that out, it was $80. And I remember going, there's got to be a better way. You know, I'm going to always be behind. And I, back then, I wanted to travel. I had done a little traveling, but I'd run out of money. So I had felt that freedom and how cool it could be. But at 80 bucks, you might know that feeling. When you don't have enough money, you feel paralyzed. And luckily, I had some mentors. And I want to share with you specifically one mentor, Gary Townsend, a guy from New Zealand that I had met when I traveled um, a few about a year before I was at NC State. And he always talked about consultants. And so I got this idea in my head. I called up Gary and I was like, hey, you know, I'm at NC State. I can't really travel. I have this job. I mean, that is hardly making me any money. Anything I could do for you. And he said, by the way, Ty, I, uh, I want to buy some real estate in the United States. And I know you're from the U.S. And I'll hire you as a consultant. And I was like, okay. And I was like, how much you pay me? He's like, I'll pay you my normal rate that I pay consultants. He was a top businessman. He was actually a Harvard MBA who lived in New Zealand. So I was like, great. I couldn't, I didn't have any money then, so I didn't have a computer. So I went to NC State's library and I used the, the free computers there. I went on Word and I remember I typed up some good information. I had some expertise from my background. I, I understood the United States. I had traveled around. And so I wrote him a report on my opinion on where he should buy real estate in the United States. And I sent it to him and I didn't really hear back for like a day or two. And then he emailed me back and he said, hey Ty, what's your bank account info? I'm gonna wire your payment. Thank you for the report, I read it. And uh, a day or two later, I checked my bank account. Can't, I wish I could remember the exact amount, but I remember it was either five or $10,000 he had wired me as a consultant. And I was like, this, I am on to something. And so now, if you know anything about what I do, I'm kind of a serial entrepreneur investor. I do many things, but I've always retained that love of consulting, um, and I've always kept one or more of my businesses. I kind of have a portfolio of businesses as a consultant because that gave me freedom. That allowed me to travel, and even to this day, uh, even though now I own you know a little more complex business, I'm here right now in London right now able to operate my business because number one, I have a component that's a consultancy that allows me to have a reason to travel. That's a whole nother conversation that maybe I'll have separately in another video. But you, when you're a consultant, you have connections around the world. You're helping people and often you're helping people in different places. So it gives you an excuse to travel and have an adventure. Number two, uh, with the power of the internet now, you can hype this whole consultant thing to a whole new level. And of course, when you're doing it with the internet, you're not bounded by one location because obviously the internet, you know, is, is uh, everywhere. 
just one quick side note. Years later, as I continue to do this, when I really know knew this was for real, and where I know this can change your life too, is when I was in Sweden and I was on a train, and Sweden had one of the first trains that had the internet, and I was driving and I was doing consulting, then I was in financial services, I had started an investment company, and I was doing business all over Skype, on the phone, video conferencing with people, while I was in Sweden, I was with my friend Herman, Dr. Fresco, for those of you who follow me. And I looked over to him and I'm like, dude, we made it, man. We were making money while we're traveling. We were visiting my friend in Sweden. We're making money in the US while we're traveling in Sweden. None of our customers care where we are. It's the ultimate win-win. So I hope, um, now, how can you do this? Because you might say, well, Ty, I don't know anything about real estate. I don't know anything about you know finance. The good news is there are some people out there training. I know a few of them. One of my friends, Sam, there's a few other people that train people how to become an internet consultant. And I'm not saying it's for everybody, but I'm saying it's worth looking into. Um, and one of the guys, Sam, for those of you who are on my email newsletter, I've been talking about his stuff and uh, he's been, he has a free how to become a free consultant where he actually teaches you where maybe you don't think you have anything to offer but for example maybe you know about social media there's a lot of businesses out there that don't know about social media you can charge them they'll pay you to manage their social media and you could do that while you're traveling in london or whatever adventure you want to do it doesn't have to be out of the country it could be just traveling around the u.s or wherever you live and so i talked to sam and he's got a few more days of these training workshops. You can watch them on your phone, you can watch them on your computer. I'm gonna put a link right here somewhere. You click the link, it'll take you to Sam's um, uh, free, and this is free, I got him to do it free. So he'll give you a free training workshop, I think it's an hour um, training that he'll do. So you just click the link here, it'll either be in the description or somewhere above or below. You click it, it'll take you over to Sam's website He's got a little explanation, you put in your email, and he'll he'll email you the exact time he's doing the next one. Like I said, you can watch them on your phone or computer, they're quick and easy. And there's other ways to become a consultant. Um, you can figure it out on your own, that's what I did. It just takes a lot longer. It took me a few years to really refine it down. Sam's got kind of a system he's put together. He's helped uh, hundreds of people create income. Remember, you don't necessarily have to quit your job. This could be an extra source of income. Um, it could become a full-time thing, or maybe you check it out and it's not for you, but now at least you can cross off your list that you looked into. Look into everything. Don't be cynical. Try everything a little bit, you know? And since this is free, you don't have to, um, you don't have to bet all your money on it to, to get the, at least the free training. He's got some other advanced paid training, but check out the free training first. See if it's for you. And uh, at the end of the day, remember, whether you do his training or you learn it on your own, if you do it right, I think you'll be like me and for many years you'll have a place in your heart going, wow, it's cool that I can get paid to have fun, travel, have that freedom and adventure most people wish they had, all while having you know, a flow of income coming from sharing your expertise, whether it's small or large, with businesses or other people who are gladly willing to pay you for that. That's the amazing thing. People want to pay for services and even if you're young watching this or you're old and you don't think you have you have much skill check out sam's video because one cool thing sam does is show you how to identify exactly what you could do as a consultant that you wouldn't necessarily think you would get paid it's amazing the things that people will pay you for these days so click the link and uh send me an email once you do sam's thing let me know if you're excited, I've already, I, I've had sent some people over to Sam's thing and people are emailing me and Snapchatting me and be like, dude, this is awesome. I've learned all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and yeah, it becomes a springboard. Always be at the next step. Be ready to increase. Talk to you soon. Leave me a comment. What do you think uh, after you watch the Sam video, come back to this YouTube and leave me the number one and two best points you learn from his free training. All right, talk to you soon.